Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John. Um, we're here to talk to you today about the uh, semi-adiabatic temperature test. This is something that we built a long time ago, um, where what we're doing is we're taking our samples. Once you get a close up of this, we can go up to three by six samples. We have other boxes where we could do the four by eights. Uh, we got four cells, uh, five samples each with a thermocouple, thermocouple underneath averaging the five samples. Um, and we're, we're doing this over 24 hours. We can go as long as we want, but that's really where we see this curve. We've got the computer setting up right here. And the reason why I bring this up today is because we're actually going to be working on this, changing it up a little bit. Um, right now we have a heating system here with a regulator. Um, but what I'd like to do is, oh, let me get this out of the way. What I'd like to do is I'd like to take out the current heating system, which is basically electrical base and change it with hydronic. So we have water heating as well as water cooling. Still temperature regulated to you know simulate the environment where we want to create, but really just have that ability to go back and forth between the two. So yeah, we just used this yesterday. We're looking at the temperature signature of the hydration process. I'm about to take these samples out, bring this back down to room temperature, and then we'll go ahead and start our next mixes. And what we use do with this is we compare the thermokinetics with cement hydration based on the change in mixes compared to a reference. So again, it's like that, that thumbprint or that signature of the actual mix itself. So, Thanks for joining us today. Hope you learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications. Go Concrete! Great